Okay, so welcome to this next video in uh, the playlist on uh, cardiovascular pathology. In this video, what we're going to talk about is the pathophysiology of atherosclerosis. Okay, so we're going to talk about a very basic model of um, how atherosclerosis happens and what, what actually causes it. Okay, so atherosclerosis then. Right. Okay, so we'll start uh, with our normal healthy endothelium and we'll then uh, grow up to seeing uh, the development of the atherosclerotic plaque. Okay, so let's say um, we have our endothelium here. So remember the layers of the blood vessel. So if we have this as our basement membrane of collagen, then we have the endothelial cells sitting on the basement membrane of collagen here. So these are endothelial cells, okay, with their nuclei here, okay, and they're sitting on this basement membrane of collagen, so I will colour this basement membrane of collagen in a turquoise colour here. So in turquoise, this is the basement membrane of collagen. Okay, so let me label everything up. So basement membrane here, so that's a very, very thin layer of collagen, and it's just what the endothelial cells are suspended on, basically. It's their uh, scaffold. And here are our endothelial cells. And this is obviously the lumen of the blood vessel here. Endothelial cells. Okay, now, and underneath the basement membrane, you then have a portion known as the subendothelial space, which is full of connective tissue. So here, we'll have the subendothelial space. This is the sub endothelial space, or you will sometimes hear this just referred to as the subendothelial connective tissue, but we'll call it the subendothelial space. And then finally, at the bottom here, which we'll have in red, this is the internal elastic lamina, before you then go on to where the smooth muscle cells are underneath here. Okay, so this is the internal elastic lamina. Now this at the moment, what I've drawn here, is a nice healthy tunica intima, as it's called. So all of these layers together, this is the tunica intima. So where should I put that? Over here, I think. So all of these layers together, this is tunica intima. Tunica means a layer, intima means close, because it's the layer that is close to the blood in the centre here. So this is the internal elastic lamina. Okay, right. So, now, what we want to talk about is what gives the initial stimulus that then causes atherosclerosis. Well, basically, it's not known. It's not known, but something causes damage to the endothelium. The, the, um, the thoughts on atherosclerosis at the moment are that something causes damage to endothelial cells. Okay, now, high blood pressure is thought to maybe be the result, or maybe be what causes this damage. So if you've got very high blood pressure, then the blood is going to be pressing on these endothelial cells very, very hard, and that might be what leads to this chronic damage of these endothelial cells. Alternatively, if you smoke, so smoking, if you smoke, then there are foul chemicals circulating in your blood, basically. When you inhale the smoke, uh, it goes into your lungs, and then it crosses some of the toxins, cross uh, the alveoli into the bloodstream. So you're in inhaling, basically, foul chemicals that are going into your bloodstream. And these foul chemicals can also damage the endothelial cells, okay, or high blood pressure. These are two ways that you can damage uh, the endothelium. Now, when the endothelial cells get damaged, what they do is they start a program, basically, an automated program that all cells have. So basically, all cells have this alarm system, basically, uh, where uh, if they get damaged by something, if they're, get, if they're receiving foul chemicals, what they assume that means is that some horrible pathogen, some bacteria or something, is sitting amongst them and is releasing these horrible chemicals. So basically, this cell now thinks that there is some horrible bacteria or something dangerous nearby it. So it sets off the inflammatory process. So it's going to call in, basically, inflammatory cells 
under the belief that it's doing a good job, that it is calling in the troops to fight an infection, basically. Okay, so what it does is it puts a certain molecule on its surface, okay? And I'll denote this as a square here, which will colour in orange. So this orange square, this denotes a molecule which it's going to use uh, to grab uh, inflammatory cells from the blood and bring them into the subendothelial space. Okay, right. And uh, this, uh, this, this molecule here, this orange molecule, where shall I label it up? I will put it, I'll label it, I don't want to put it there because I'm going to draw, well actually I'm not going to be able to draw there, so I'll label it here. It's called VCAM1, okay? Now, the endothelial cell does a lot more than just put VCAM1 on its surface, but we're going to take as simple a picture of this as we can, because we could make this horrendously complicated. There are a huge number of pathways implicated in atherosclerosis, but we're going to outline the very basics. So it puts this molecule, VCAM1, on its surface, and VCAM1, okay, if I tell you what this is, stands for, it's a nice, simple acronym. It stands for vascular... Vascular Cell Adhesion Molecule 1. Vascular Cell Adhesion Molecule 1. Okay, so CAM, whenever you hear CAMs are on cells, that just means cell adhesion molecule. So VCAM1 just means the vascular cell adhesion molecule, and it's the first vascular cell adhesion molecule. Right, now, basically, when you put this uh, vascular cell adhesion molecule 1 on your surface, you are going to grab certain cells from the blood, certain white blood cells. And the specific one we're going to be interested in is a white blood cell known as a monocyte. Okay, so in the blood, you have cells known as monocytes. So this cell here, this represents a monocyte, and basically it's a type of white blood cell. So over here, and I'll give him some colour because it looks a bit boring in black and white. So in blue, over here, this is our monocyte. Let me just straighten up the page. So this is a monocyte that circulates in the blood. Okay, and it's a type of white blood cell. Now, basically, when the monocyte sees that the endothelial cell has put VCAM1 on its surface, the monocyte also has a protein on its surface which can bind to VCAM1. So here is another protein which can bind to VCAM1. Okay, so let's colour this protein in purple here. Okay, and this purple protein is a protein known as VLA4. VLA4. Now, what does VLA4 stand for? Well, VLA4 stands for Very Late Antigen 4. So this means Very Late Antigen 4. And it's a protein that is on the surface of these monocytes here, which are in blue. Now, basically, what's going to happen is this monocyte is going to come and it's going to sit on top of these endothelial cells. The VNA4 will bind to the VCAM1 and will form a complex, and that will hold this monocyte on the top of the endothelial cells. So let me let me draw this picture. Okay, so here's our endothelial cell that has been damaged, okay, by potentially high blood pressure or uh, smoking, or in fact, let me just to highlight another um, way that you could damage it, another way is hyperglycemia. High blood glucose can damage uh, cells as well. High blood glucose. Okay, now what sort of a disease do you get very high blood glucose in? Well, that's in diabetes. So uncontrolled, badly controlled diabetic uh, diabetes. Um, puts you at risk of developing atherosclerosis. And it's because the high blood glucose uh, damages the endothelial cells and then this sets off this whole cascade that's going to lead to the formation of an atherosclerotic plaque. Okay, so back to the story. Here's our endothelial cell that's been damaged and it has this VCAM1 molecule on its surface which we drew in orange here. So let me continue with that convention. Here in orange is VCAM1. And then we have bound to the VCAM1 this uh, VLA4 protein, okay, which is on the surface 
of our monocyte. So this is our monocyte here. That's its nucleus there. Okay, and the monocyte we coloured in blue, or outlined in blue at least, and the VLA4 we had outlined in purple, or coloured in purple maybe. Okay, so here's our VLA4 complex with our VCAM1 here. So very late antigen 4 here in purple, and vascular cell adhesion molecule 1 in orange here. Now, what's going to happen is the monocyte is now going to move across the endothelium, but it's not going to actually move across the endothelial cell. What it will move is it will move through the gaps between the endothelial cells. It will move across the uh, basement membrane and into the, um, the sub-endothelial space. So what's going to happen is our monocyte is going to come into the sub-endothelial space. So here is our monocyte at the moment in the sub-endothelial space. And we'll continue this story in the next video.